right now, we have some important new details on the coronavirus pandemic. The international scientific community is racing to find a vaccine and a treatment for coronavirus. In Washington state, one clinical trial is taking a big step today. Skylar Henry has the latest from Washington, D.C. An experimental coronavirus vaccine was administered to a human test subject in Seattle today. The fast-tracked research is one of dozens of projects underway around the world as scientists frantically search for a way to contain and prevent the deadly virus. The drugs that are going to be able to treat this disease are in development and look very, very encouraging. So the hope is there's some really positive news there in the next week or two. But despite the early progress, public health officials say it'll take at least a year for a potential vaccine to be approved for use. Our key message is test, test, test. Until a vaccine is developed, officials at the World Health Organization are urging widespread testing to contain the virus. It is important for countries to know where the virus is circulating within their countries and who is infected and who is not infected. And by doing so, you can effectively stop uh, transmission between people. After coming under fire for not having an adequate supply of coronavirus tests, the Trump administration is promising to ramp up testing efforts by the tens of thousands. We will now have access in the days ahead to more than 2,000 labs across the country that have the equipment today to process coronavirus tests. While dozens of people have died in the U.S. and thousands worldwide, the vast majority of patients with mild symptoms recover in about two weeks. Those with more severe illness may take up to six weeks to recover. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. The vaccine administered today was developed by the National Institutes of Health in record time after the new coronavirus exploded in China and beyond.